Welcome to the Stormscape Drainage Design System. Stormscape DDS is an innovative web-based application that allows you to effectively design stormwater drainage networks as well as foul water sewerage networks both for commercial and residential developments from any computer connected to the web. There is no need to load software onto individual machines. Stormscape's homepage can keep you up to date with changes in regulations, what's happening in your industry, news articles, and host topical videos from the web. There's also a blog and forum facility for you to share your views with your colleagues. From the homepage, click on Start Here to go to the DDS registration page. You will need to supply a username and a valid email address to register. Stormscape will then send you a password and you can start designing a drainage system with a trial subscription which gives you immediate access to all of Stormscape's tools and functions. Let's design a simple stormwater drainage project. Step 1. Click on the Start Here button on the home page and then click on Launch a Project. Fill in the boxes and hit Save. Your scheme is now saved on a secure remote server. Step 2. Import a plan of your scheme in DXF format and choose whether your plan was drawn in meters or millimeters. Whatever your coordinate system point of origin was when you imported the plan, when you export your design back into your CAD drawings, the network will snap back to that same point of origin. Step 3. Click on Files and you will see your background drawing and any other data files you want to attach to your design, documents, PDFs, spreadsheets, is sitting there waiting for you to start. Storm or File System, that's up to you. Stormscape will do both. Step 4. Click on New Drainage Design to start a new storm system. We've prepared a simple scheme based around an industrial unit with a warehouse, office block, car park and roadway for you to see. Step 5. Click on Drawing, Import, Importer's Background and choose the drawing you want to use. You're now ready to begin your design. You can save your work at any time. Just click Drawing Stroke Save and give it a name. After this, there will be automatic saves every two minutes, so you need not worry about losing your work. Use Save or Save As at any time. This is also where you find the facility to export the network and long section drawings. Step 6. Locate your site on the plan. Note that Stormscape covers the whole of the UK and Ireland. We'll build our unit in Norwich. As soon as you click on the location, the rainfall table is populated. Note that if you wish, you can change variables such as time of entry, duration, design period, and climate change factor to suit your design brief. Step 7. Locate your manholes using the Add Manhole tool. Each manhole will have its own data table. Made a mistake? Use the Select button to choose the error and hit Delete on your keyboard to remove the manhole. Manholes are uniquely numbered with adjustable coordinates, cover and soffit levels. There's even a selectable menu of the most popular materials manufacturers. The downstream end of the network is configured as an outflow using the Add Public Sewer Network Outflow tool. This could just have easily been a river or a pond. Note that you can include a pass forward flow rate as well as set the outflow level. Step 8. In a similar fashion to inserting manholes, using the pipeline tool you stretch a pipe from the upstream to the downstream manhole. Clicking on the pipe with the Select tool will bring up the Pipe Data Table. Once all of the network is in, the system can be optimised using the Auto Design button at the top of the design area. See how the pipe is identified 
and how the materials library works for pipes and channels too. As this is a storm design, the KS factor is set automatically to 0.6. The impermeable area can be pre-measured from plans or picked from within the design using the Select Area tool. All that's left is to run through the calculation buttons, make any necessary changes and then generate the report and export the finalised network, plan and lawn sections to your construction drawings. Step 9. The three buttons immediately under the Drawing tab generate the manhole, pipe and network tables respectively. Potential surcharges will be flagged up in the Comments column and it is a simple task to revisit the design and make changes. Step 10. Here is a result of the six button from the left, Surcharging Report. Step 11. The final report can be output as either a PDF or RTF file and the data then customised into whatever layout you wish, including standard company templates. This is the flow calculation section from this scheme's report in PDF format. This brief presentation has shown the basic design steps in creating a stormwater system. As well as setting the cover and soffit levels, you can also preset the gradient downstream of your manholes and, once the network is complete, optimize the system using the Auto Design tool. Another useful tool is the Estimate Bedding Materials, which will help calculate the volume of spoil excavated and give you an idea of the volume of bedding material required. This information can also be exported in either RTF or PDF format. In addition to stormwater design, by clicking on the New Foul Water Design button, a similar process could have been followed with the choice of designing to either Sewers for Adoption or the Building Regulations Part H requirements. With Stormscape, you will also be able to design your drainage system to include popular channel elements, swales, ponds, modular storage boxes and soakaways, details of which can be found in the Material Data Library which is maintained by Stormscape's support staff. Below the design panel at the right hand end of the design tools you'll see the Add Pond Contour and Add Swale buttons. Let's take a look at a simple swale and pond arrangement followed by a straightforward soakaway design.